When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody, as you know, Jara White and I have had an exchange or two based on my criticism of his techniques shown in his Radioactive Anomaly series. In my last video, I presented a more specific critique of his numerous rational errors, and I also gave my pointed opinion about how I see his methodology, mentality, and that of his followers. He vowed to make another video reply, and this is my pre-recorded rebuttal. I'm recording this on January 24th, it's 4.30 Pacific Time, and the President is about to give the State of the Union. I'll probably be uploading this on the 25th. I'm recording this just a few days after my first video, and since you're seeing this, that means that Jarrah White must have finally put up his response. You can see below the date that I uploaded this video. Future me, future Jerry, future Greater Sapien will be putting annotations on this video with more specific info. For example, hey future me, how long in advance did I do this video before White put his out? Awesome. I'm doing this in advance because, well, I'm a dick. And I also think White will be fairly predictable. My criticism of White was very specific, that he was taking possibilities and worst case scenarios as fact, which is an error, and that he was perhaps misinterpreting quotations to suit his own agenda. I also expressed my reasons for making my videos, my opinion of the moon landing controversy, my perception of him and other moon landing conspiracy theorists that pervade the web. By now I'm sure I've been hit up by White's followers being told how I've been owned by White in, in all sorts of mocking tones. And I'm certain that's not the case. The only way White can own me here is if he said this. Greater Sapien was correct that I made numerous logical missteps in my videos. Though I believe my overall position is correct, the methodology I used in presenting it was flawed. And I'll endeavor not to make such errors in the future because even if I'm correct, and I believe I am, if I don't take the proper steps and show the proper work, I will continue to be dismissed out of hand. If he said that, awesome. He's a better man than I thought he was. In my face. But he didn't say that, I'm guessing. My point from the beginning was that he makes crucial missteps in his logic process to reach his conclusions. Not only is this video a great example of poor thinking and action, and that he will not be able to acknowledge, nor will his followers. My thought is he'll have taken the best defense is a strong offense strategy. In all likelihood, he went after the low hanging fruit of my last video, the things that were outside of my main point and opinion based. For example, I said, that it's not possible to shield radiation to safe levels is just not the case. He'll probably try to get me to provide evidence when in fact he is making the claim of impossibility. He may claim that I belittle or don't understand the dangers that radiation poses to people. I said that all legitimate questions have been answered. He'll probably ask me to show those answers. Not caring that I'm discussing my personal position and why I'm not setting out to convince him or others with my videos. I even said that others are still asking the same questions is their problem. In other words, it's on you. He probably criticized my saying legitimate questions, wondering since when do I get to decide what's a legitimate question? Each of us get to when we're forming our own opinions. We all establish our own standards of evidence, and I try to base mine on the facts, science, and the engineering. Not the prejudiced assumptions made when decoding someone's body language, motivations, or mood seen on a video. I have a feeling he might leave the Rem versus Renkin bit alone, but if he doesn't, he'll likely try again to argue how it's okay for him to conflate the two, though it's still different and not what Van Allen said. And even in my original video, I said, he's making an assumption that Van Allen is discussing Rem, which is Renkin equivalent in man, the absorption of radiation in flesh, because Van Allen himself only says Renkin, not Rem. I'm just pointing out that he shouldn't change the meaning of what others say. There's a point in my video where I ask him rhetorical questions. Was there major solar flare activity during the Apollo missions? Did the Van Allen belt show activity in 2000 that can be directly correlated with the Van Allen conditions during the missions? I'm sure if he had that data, he would show it. He'll likely try to answer these questions to boost his credibility, not understanding that I was saying that in his first video, if he had that data, he should have presented it, instead of presenting past speculation on past events as facts. My point, my message was that people watching his videos should look closely at what he's saying. That when he says A plus B equals C, 
he often doesn't even have an A or a B, just a possible A and a possible B. He can't defend that or admit that, so he will try to re-argue points, proving he didn't pose them well in the first place. Also part of his go-on-offense-defense, I think he'll put a focus on me. Put me on trial. Label me a propagandist or an apologist or an unknowing pawn, which actually says nothing but allows him and his followers to dismiss me out of hand. At first I was thinking that he may claim that I coordinated with his opponents and that I've sock puppet accounts trolling online, but that seems more like something his followers would do. So I don't think he'll do that. He'll look for mistakes that I've made. He may pour through my other videos or my comments and find places where I've shown a lack of information or generalized or wrote reactively without thinking. I'm personally aware of mistakes that I've made, and I've even commented on the fact, but he may target that anyway. None of this will take away from the fact that my assessment of his methods are correct, but if he can make me look bad, all's the better for him in his mind. He may claim that I'm projecting my own egotism onto him, using examples where I've bragged about being smart or had a smug look on my face to say it's me that has ego in this. Again, this will be misdirection. But yes, I have an ego. I've never claimed otherwise. Listen to my music. Every single one of us who feels our opinion is worth telling everyone online has an ego, but as far as I can tell, mine is not interfering with my observations on this topic. Is that it? Yeah, I think it is. So that's what I think he did. He took the strategy of the best defense is a good offense, decided to make me look worse so that he'd look better. He re-argued points adding new information, and challenge me to come up with proof of my position, knowing that I express no desire to do that shit with him. So he'll be able to claim in the future that I'm afraid of him or something, who knows. And the fact that he took this strategy proves my point. This tactic in itself is a fallacious argument. It's the tu quo que argument, or tu quo qui, depending on how you like to pronounce it. The how dare you claim I make errors when you make errors to position. And it's a fallacious stance to take. The fact that he re-argued points could be taken as proof that he did not argue them well the first time, or the second time. Even if he made a video with every typo, every snark, every stupid or arrogant thing I've ever put online, and packaged them together to make me look like an idiotic asshole, which probably could be done, it would not take away from the fact that he made videos with crucial errors in thinking on display. It would just make him and his followers feel better about themselves. Which goes to prove my other point that it's about their ego. So how did I do? How predictable was White's comeback video? I guess I'll just have to wait to find out. Can we be done with this now? Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.